Okay, so this podcast is all going to be about using the words and probability. We're going to consider this probability model. X is a random variable that follows up. B stands for binomial distribution, with n being 5 and the probability is 0.4. So if there's n possibilities, that means there are five things we're choosing from. I know I could have 0 of the 5, or I could have 1 of the 5, or 2 of the 5, 3 of the 5, 4 of the 5, and oh, 5 of the 5. And this is my sample space. And these problems really help to understand what's going on when you think about this and even write them out. And I know that all these possibilities will add up to 1. And I'm going to keep referring to that as we go through here. And so when I have scenarios like this with probability, I often say, well, I'm the probability of at least two, or at most two, or more than two. And what do all these words mean is what this podcast is really all about. At least two. I always think about money in my wallet. I think I have at least two dollars in my wallet means I could have two or more. So that's going to talk about the two, the three, four, and the five. So this is two, three, four, and five. A probability statement would mean I want the probability that my random variable x is bigger than or equal to 2. So I know I want 2, 3, 4, and 5. That's the same thing as saying 1 minus the probability of 0 minus the probability of 1. Those are the same thing. To type it in my calculator, then I would go 1 minus binomial CDF. 5 comma 0.4 and this is the tricky part it will add always from left to right it will add if I add 0 and 1 if I put a 1 here that means 0 and 1 have been added so I'm going to subtract those and that will be my actual probability going to at most 2 if I want to do at most 2 if I think again I have at most two dollars in my wallet that's going to refer to these three. I could have zero in my wallet, one in my wallet, or two in my wallet. So I'm going to say the probability of x is less than or equal to two. And so that's going to be just the probability of zero plus the probability of one plus the probability of two. To put that in my calculator, again, CDF always goes from zero to two. So it's going to be one minus binomial CDF 5 comma 0.4 comma 2. It will add all the way up to it including 2. If I want more than 2, if I want more than 2, well if I have more than two dollars in my wallet, that means I don't have two dollars, I have more than two. I will have three, four, or five. So this is going to be three four and five. Probability statement would be probability that x is bigger than two. To do this calculation I could go one minus the probability of zero minus the probability of one minus the probability of two. And so be one minus binomial CDF 5 comma 0.4 comma 2 because I want to subtract all the way up to it including 2 and that will give me the 3, 4, 5. There are other ways to do it but this is what I would like to do it. Fewer than 2? If I have fewer than $2 in my wallet means I have either $0 or $1. And so this is the probability that x is less than 2. I could also say the probability x is less than or equal to 1. Same situation. And so I need 0 and 1 together, the probability of 0 plus the probability of 1, which is going to be 1 minus binomial CDF, 5 comma 0.4 comma 1. <coughs> exactly 2 now. That means I want equal to 2. The probability that the random variable x equals 2 well, it is pretty self-explanatory. This is where my calculator is going to be different. I'm going to go binomial PDF. I'm going to put a highlight on that. That is P 
PDF. Because it's a particular one, PDF. And again, it's 5, comma, 0.4, comma, 2. And finally, between 2 and 4. Well, between 2 and 4. And let's, it's not very clear here. I'm going to say inclusive. That's all these ones here. So I want 2, 3, and 4. So I want the probability that x, uh, 2 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 4. Well, to do that, again, I have to think about how my calculator works. I could add all of them up to 4, which would be binomial CDF, 5 comma 0.4 comma 4. And then if I subtract these ones here, which is binomial CDF, 5 comma 0.4 comma 1. If I do that calculation, I will get left with this. I hope that helps explain some of these words and what they actually mean.